this is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be giving you a short demo of MM Detection. MM Detection is an open source object detection toolbox based on PyTorch. It is part of the Open MM Lab project. They also have other projects like MM OCR and so on. Okay. So if you look at this image, objects have been detected over here. For example, this is a bench and there is a score associated with the confidence score associated with this object detection. Okay. Now this toolbox uh, has features like modular design, support of multiple frameworks out of box like faster RCNN, mask RCNN, retina net. It is highly efficient. It runs on GPUs, right? And they say that it is as good as the other frameworks like Detectron 2 and so on. It is also state of art. Okay. Now let's look at a short uh, demo of this. Basically, I have used their own uh, tutorial. They have a collab tutorial and I want to try out some object detection on some of my images, sample images. Okay. So in this tutorial, uh, basically they explain about the basic structure of faster RCNN, how to perform inference with the MM detection detector and also to train a new detector with the new data set. I'm not going to talk about training a new detector with the new data set, but the first two steps. Okay. So first you need to install MM detection. I just uh, followed whatever they have mentioned in this, uh, their notebook. And I was able to install MM detection on this collab notebook on this collab instance. Okay. This is a GPU instance. So the runtime I have selected as GPU over here. Um, so if I go to change runtime, actually I've selected it as GPU. Okay. So now the thing over here is that, uh, this is all about installation and by py checking PyTorch installation here, they explain what is faster RCNN. Okay. Faster RCNN is a simple two stage detector. Okay. This is the high level architecture of faster RCNN. So the idea is that it makes use of a convolutional neural network as backbone to extract features, right? A convolutional neural network as backbone to extract features. Then there is another network called as a region proposal network to detect proposals or basically detect regions of interest or your objects, right? And then it uses a feature extract to crop features from these regions of interest, which are then given to a classification head, right? Uh, uh, which is then given to a region of interest uh, head to perform classification and bounding box prediction. So that is the high level of idea of what is mask faster RCNN. Okay. So use a convolution layer uh, backbone, convolution layer uh, CNN backbone to identify some features, right? Then use a region proposal network to identify some regions, again, extract some features from this region and then give it to a classifier. Okay. That is how object detection is done over here. Okay. Now let's see how we can actually, uh, you know, create a, a detect a, a object detector using this MM detector. And let's see, uh, for that, we need to download certain models over here. Uh, the check model checkpoints. That is what is this code about, right? Then you actually need to, uh, load the particular model. Okay. So for that, you have to initialize the model based, uh, detector based on some config right and also the checkpoint right you have to load the checkpoint uh, and then you are actually creating the model over here and you are pushing the model to the device and you are uh, putting the model into evaluation mode okay so you can go through this code to understand each of these steps i will not go into that as well so now here you see this is actually the model faster rcnn uh, it gives the model architecture over here right so once you do this, now your model is ready for actually inference. Okay. So what they say over here is from the printed model, we'll find the model does consist of components uh, described earlier. It uses ResNet as its CNN backbone, an RPN head and a ROA head. RPN is region proposal and ROA is region of interest classification head. In addition, the model has a neural network module, namely neck directly after the CNN backbone. It is a feature pyramid network for enhancing the multi-scale features. So this is slightly different, whatever, uh, slightly different from the components explained earlier in the sense that it uses some additional feature pyramid network for enhancing the multi-scale features. Okay. So now let's go to the 
how to do the inference for the detector okay so it is as simple as uh, you know having a high they have a high level api called inference detector right so you have to just give a sample image pass the inference uh, pass the model and image to the inference detector you get a result and when you plot the result you can actually see how it has detected bounding boxes over here in the image okay so this is just two lines over here once you do all the um, model loading and everything uh, your object detection is just two lines over here you have to pass an image to an inference detector api right and the model which you have instantiated the mm detection model okay so if you look at this image this is an image of a traffic uh, basically a picture of bangalore traffic so this is the image full image and if you see over here it has detected multiple uh, cars okay it has detected motorcycle it has detected person okay so if i zoom in a little bit uh, if you see over here in this image it has actually detected car right and then if you go a little bit uh, towards the right person motorcycle so it is able to do object detection and i'm quite happy with the results which i'm seeing over here because considering that this image has a lot of overlaps you might see some objects have not been detected over here like this person this vehicle or some vehicle but those are challenges because this in this image uh, you know there is a lot of overlap between the objects okay now let's look at another image over here i wanted to give another traffic image again i pass the model and this image right and let's see how how the results look like okay so even if you look at this result uh, again there is a lot of overlap between the objects over here right but then it detects motorcycle person and trucks i saw a truck over here i saw somewhere a bus a bus over here probably this should have been the bus yeah some kind of yeah some kind of overlap over here but not fully proper detection in the sense that which you want you you would want to again customize this network for your task but then it still gives some decent results or very good results in fact with respect to object detection so potted plant over here right a person so it kind of uh, does very good detection and here we have given a confidence threshold of 0.3 uh, in the confidence score right okay um, so now let's look at another image of a table uh, where I have some objects. Okay, I pass that image, and uh, let's see how the result looks like. So, if you look at this particular table, uh, so if you look at this, the keyboard has been identified properly. Uh, there is a cell phone. There is a book. Um, there is another book over here. There is a cup over here, right? And it says that this bounding box, basically, this region is a laptop. This is a vase. This is a potted plant as a whole. The bottom part is a vase, right? Another cup book um so it's quite good uh, it has uh, this calculator probably has gone for a toss over here it says it has a keyboard or a cell phone there is some kind of overlap over here between you know these two categories right so let's look at another image of a road sign uh, with this threshold of 0.3 so i pass that image to this inference detector and let's see what it detects over here it detects the car uh, it detects a bench Actually, this is a railing, guard railing, but it detects it as a bench, right? Uh, so I passed another road sign image and this time I reduced the threshold a little bit to see what kind of results come out of it. And if you look at this image, yeah, it has detected a sign, may not be the proper sign. And somehow it detects this region as a pizza for whatever reasons, because in the training images, yeah, some features may have come close to a pizza or something, right? So yeah, this is another example. And here, if you look at another example of a park image, right? It has identified benches over here properly. Okay. And uh, broccoli, you know, <laughs> this is the real challenge in object detection. A broccoli may not be present in a park image like this, but for some reason, uh, reason it says that this region is broccoli. So probably some kind of thresholding on the confidence score needs to be done to remove spurious objects. Okay. And then here is another example of a park image where it detects the top region as an umbrella because it's very close to an umbrella. But actually this is a slide, right? So here is where the challenge is and actually in object detection based on the domain, you would want to annotate these objects in a different way and then train the network to give better results. Okay. So this was a short demo of MM detection for object detection. 
right and uh, they have also explained how to train a detector on a customized data set maybe i'll cover this in another video uh, but for the moment uh, i found this toolbox to be quite interesting and for example if you're working on an application like you know um, counting the number of cars in a traffic video right probably you can use this mm detection toolbox to identify in every frame of the video how many vehicles are there and then you know do some calculation on per minute what is the traffic on this road and things like that so i found this to the toolbox to be quite uh, good in what it does and they've also provided ways for you to uh, fine tune this on your data set so i hope this video on mm detection is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video happy learning